When I left the Army, I had no plan, no roadmap, and those ETS workshops, they left me with more questions than answers. But here's what no one told me. Veterans are perfectly positioned to break into tech, specifically cybersecurity. There are over 500,000 unfilled cyber jobs with median salaries over 110K. If you're wondering where to start, this video is for you. I'm Chris Kambaya. I served in the 82nd Airborne as a signal soldier, and I know firsthand how hard transitioning out of the military can be. But I also know this. If you apply the same discipline and grit from your service, you can absolutely break into cybersecurity, and I'll show you how. If you're ready to start a new mission with purpose, stability, and real opportunity, hit subscribe. This channel is here to guide you step by step. Let's start with your most powerful tool, the GI Bill, and how to use it the smart way. The Post-9-11 GI Bill is one of the most powerful tools you have as a veteran. But here's the thing, just because something's covered doesn't mean it's the best way to use your benefits. Let's break it down. The GI Bill can pay for accredited colleges, some certification programs, and even technical boot camps, as long as they're VA approved. Option one, accredited college degrees. If you're looking for a solid foundation and a respected credential, college is a strong route. The GI Bill fully covers tuitions at public in-state schools and many private online schools with field written support. Some of the best options for veterans include Washington's Governor University, or WGU. It's self-phased, flexible, and includes 16 certifications built into the program. University of Maryland Global Campus, or UMGC, designated NSA Center of Academic Excellence and Military Friendly. Community colleges, affordable, hands-on, often NSA certified. These programs give you flexibility, credit for military experience, and a chance to earn industry certifications while you study. Option two, boot camps and technical training. Don't want a two or four year degree? The GI Bill also covers some non-college training like cybersecurity boot camps if they're approved. But here's the catch. A short boot camp might eat up four plus months of your 36 months of benefits and you won't come out for the degree. Here's the rule of thumb. Use your GI Bill for education that significantly moves the needle forward, like a degree or a boot camp with proven job placement results. For smaller training needs, try free or low cost options first. Here's a lesser known trick. GIBIT will actually reimburse you for many certification exam fees, up to $2,000 per test. That includes Security Plus, SSCP, and more. You can study using free or affordable resources and use a GIBIT bill to pay for the exam without burning a full month of benefits. Use the VA GI Bill comparison tool to compare veteran support, graduation rates, and costs. Look for programs that are accredited and designated as NSA, DHS Centers of Academic Excellence. Always do your homework. Talk to other vets, check reviews, and make sure the program actually helps people land jobs. So now that we've covered how to use your GI Bill wisely, let's talk about veteran-friendly cybersecurity training programs that can fast track your career, often for free. College isn't your only option. In fact, some of the best cybersecurity training for veterans happens outside the classroom, and it's often completely free. These programs are designed for people like you, transitioning service members, recent vets, and even spouses who want real skills fast without wasting time or money. First up, Vets in Tech. This nonprofit connects veterans to tech careers through hands-on training like Security Plus cohorts. In one class, they had a 100% graduation rate and 95% of students landed a job or advanced in their careers. Courses are free, often virtual, and supported by big names like Infotech Institute and Craig Newmark Philanthropies. Next is NPower. This is a 16 to 18 week full-time program that teaches IT fundamentals. Perfect for beginners. You earn certs like A+, Security+, Plus, even Splunk and Linux. It's full-time, but it's free. They even pay for your cert exams. And their job placement rates? Companies like Deloitte, Boeing, and even SpaceX have hired their grads. And there's Onwards to Opportunity, or O2O, run by Syracuse University. It's fully online and self-paced. You train for certs like Security Plus, SSCP, Cisco, CyberOps, and get a free voucher to take the exam. Plus, they offer resume coaching and connect you to veteran-friendly employers. Several big tech companies also run their own training for veterans. Cisco Networking Academy offers free courses in networking, cybersecurity, and cloud. Fortinet's Veterans Program gives you free access to their network security expert courses and free cert vouchers. These are great ways to stack knowledge while you're in transition mode or even while working on another job. If you're feeling ambitious, check out the SANS Vet Success Academy. It's a full scholarship cyber bootcamp with GIAC certifications, some of the most respected in the industry. It's selective, but if you get in, it's a direct path into top tier cyber roles. You'll also see smaller initiatives out there like IBM Skills Build, uh, CompTIA's veteran scholarships or cyber warrior boot camps. Some are solid. Just do your homework. 
check their outcomes, placement rates, and reviews in veterans forums. If a program pressures you to enroll fast or promises guaranteed jobs, run the other way. Now, training is great, but what really sets you apart is real world experience. Let's talk about internships, apprenticeships, and how to get hands-on even before you leave the military. Here's the truth. Certification and training are important, but nothing beats real world experience. The good news, as a veteran, you have access to unique programs that let you build that experience even before your ETS. If you're still on active duty and still within 180 days of separation, SkillBridge is one of the most powerful tools you can use. It lets you intern full-time at companies, training providers, or agencies while you're still getting your military pay and benefits. Cyber-focused SkillBridge programs like Empower, Microsoft MSSA, Hiring Our Heroes, and many others. Best part, it doesn't use your GI Bill benefits and often leads directly to a job offer. Already separated? No problem. Look into register apprenticeships. These are paid on-the-job training programs. For a great example is Apprenti or Apprenti, I'm not sure how you say the name, but you get technical training and spend about a year working in roles like cybersecurity analyst or IT cloud technician. Players like Amazon, JP Morgan, and Accenture have hired vets through this path. And yes, you can even stack GI Bill housing benefits on top of your apprentice pay. That's a huge win. Another solid option is the U.S. Valor Cybersecurity Apprenticeship Program. You earn while you learn, gaining service like Security Plus, USA Plus, Cloud Plus, and more. Plus, you'll also get real-world job experience. It's built specifically for veterans and aligned with DOD standards. Some companies run their own veteran training pipelines, IBM, Deloitte, PwC, AWS. They all have technical academies or apprenticeships for vets. When job hunting search terms like Cybersecurity Apprentice or Veteran Academy, these roles often fly on their radar. If you're in school using your GI Bill, look for pathway internships or scholarships for service opportunities with the federal government. If you're out of school, programs like Hiring Our Heroes also support veteran fellowships. And don't overlook volunteering or CTS. Helping a nonprofit with IT or joining cyber competitions shows initiative and can set you apart in an interview. All right, you've seen the training, the benefits, and the experience path. But how do you stretch those benefits to go further and avoid wasting time and money? Let's break down some cost-saving strategies next. You've earned your benefits. Now let's make them work smarter, not harder. Cybersecurity training can get expensive fast. So here's how to stretch your GI Bill to avoid bad investments and still build a winning career. There are amazing free resources out there for veterans like NPower, Vets in Tech, Fortinet's Veteran Program, Cisco's Nugger Academy, and more. Use these to build your foundation before spending your GI Bill on price or bootcamp for college. Even platforms like Cyberary, Chi Hack Me, or Scissors Free Federal Cyber Courses can give you a solid start. Be careful with boot camps. Some are solid, others just want your GI Bill dollars. If a boot camp charges you 20 grand and can't show real outcomes or veteran success stories, it's a red flag. Ask the tough questions. How many vets have you trained? What's your job placement rates? Can I talk to our graduate? Programs like NPower and Vets in Tech report 90% plus job placement rates. That's what you want, outcomes. Look for boot camps or schools that are CIRR members that are required to publish results. If you use a GI Bill, you're also eligible for monthly housing allowance that can help cover rent or bills while you train. Just make sure your course is over half time or full time to qualify. Some shorter programs don't meet the cutoff, so make sure you check. Let me be real with you. Certs, they don't get you jobs. They just help you get noticed. Stacking a bunch of certs without a plan, that's bad business. You only need one or two to break in, so choose wisely. Start with a solid entry-level stack like A+, Net+, or Security+, Plus, depending on your background. Then look at a job description in your area and match the certs to what employers are actually looking for. Don't chase that CSSP or CA just because they sound cool. Get what gets you hired. And remember, your GI Bill can cover exam fees, which is often smarter than using your benefits for a course. Now let's talk about where you belong in the cyber world and how to match your military experience to the right career path. Cybersecurity isn't one size fits all. Your military background, whether you worked on networks or in a motor pool, can help you thrive here. Let's figure out where you start based on your experience level. I have zero IT experience, where do I start? Start with the basics. Programs like NPower, Tech Fundamentals, or Cisco Network Academy are designed for total beginners. They'll teach you IT fundamentals, hardware, software, networking, and get you certs like A plus or the CCST. From there, aim for security plus to break it to cyber. You can also earn an associate's degree at a community college. It's GI Bill approved, hands-on, and gives you a strong launch pad. And don't overlook help desk or IT support roles. They're great entry points while leveling up behind the scenes. I've got some IT experience in the military. 
what now? If you work in comms, networking, or IT, you've already got a head start. Go after certs like Security Plus, then maybe CYSA Plus, AWS, or Cloud Fundamentals, depending on your interests. Or you might also fast track a cybersecurity degree at WGU or apply to a hands-on program like Apprentice Hire or SkillBridge for real-world experience. And if you already have a degree, even in another field, a few key certs might be all you need to pivot into cyber. I'm interested in a specific field like pen testing or digital forensics. Awesome. Once you got the fundamentals, explore specialty certs like CEH or OSCP for penetration testing, GCFA or NC for digital forensics, or vendor specific certs for specific tools like Splunk, Palo Alto, or AWS. Get your foot in the door first, then your job might even pay for those advanced certs. Still unsure? Use the NICCS Career Pathway tool to match your interests to roles and required skills. And plug into groups like CyberSec or Military Cyber Professionals Association. These communities are full of vets who've walked this path and are ready to help. So how do you actually take action from here? Well, let's talk about it. Here's the bottom line. Breaking the cybersecurity as a veteran is absolutely possible, even if you're starting from scratch. In fact, employers actively want what you bring to the table discipline, mission focus, teamwork. Now let's recap on the path. You got the tools. Use your GI Bill wisely for high impact programs. Start with free veteran training from groups like Empower or Vets in Tech. Gain real world experience through skill bridge or apprenticeships. Plan your certification roadmap and cost saving strategies and choose a path that fits your background and goals. Here's what you can do today to start the transition into cybersecurity. Check out the NICCS Cyber Career Pathway tool. See where your skills align. Use the VA GI Bill Comparison Tool. Find approved schools and programs. Apply to programs like O2O, NPower, or Vets in Tech. Most have only start dates. While you wait, hop on Cyberry, Try Hack Me, or Scissor Learning Portal and build momentum. Most importantly, connect with other vets in cybersecurity, LinkedIn, VetSec, or online forums. You've already served and protected the nation in uniform. Now it's time to defend it in cyberspace. With the right plan, smart use of your benefits, and a little grit, this next mission is yours to win. If you found this helpful, smash that subscribe button and drop a comment below if you're a veteran looking to make the switch. I'd love to hear your story. Until next time, stay sharp, stay focused, all the way airborne.